Endliga erat geras.
Survey the area soon. In. See you, old friend. Buy yourself some luck! like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? By Thor's hammer, it is Eivor. The it is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Sirbjorn let us raid so far from home, and Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the <gasps> coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. The blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? I have handled more. Do you want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. 
You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! Uh. Fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here! You have much to learn. Raiders are tougher than they look. Tougher than you know. Thorgil's got back up after you went down. He finished the fight. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgil's could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Cast about this land, my friend. What tiny little child approaches? Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. 
Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I have consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. Your pride is misplaced, you're as plain as they come. No, no, no! Wound me! Don't go easy on me, I can take it! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? You've the wit and the charm of a wood tick. You can't go harder than that? What a shame. Thought you'd be up for a good spar. Come back again if you ever feel ready. Happy returns after a sorry loss. Do you want to try again? Give me your best. Absolutely. Good. Now place your bet. I haven't the coin. Hello, friend. Come see my wares.
happy to lighten your load. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? Are you sure there isn't uh, something else you want? I have to go. See? seen in this area. Go, Sunan.
But these relics will last forever. Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varin wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward, I should cut you down. No! I do not want to die! Not your choice. Uh. for your actions.
Show me what lies in your face. To the Swan Road. Run up the sail! will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. 
Your hatred for that man burns bright, wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotbe's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? There's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. for the dark. <laughs> well, well. The Feeder of Ravens returns. And not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volker. She could help me make sense of my... my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
Eivor. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. Just shut up. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Hello, Eivor. Sem heldur er. Nálgast eigi höll áður en verður sér að gera. Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Kaupinnokir komu vestan frá nýjum brunum. I saw no Outdrink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Come and drink. Let us This land the will gods. never prosper while clan battles clan. Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war, even Able. among the gods. Come to Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Garner, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. 
Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. When Midgard was shot, Asmar was torn by strife. The battle-born Asir 